guys, it is Wednesday morning in the Carter house. I am just gonna whip up a really quick and easy, my absolutely favorite blueberry crisp. It is from Sean and Iquist. It is so easy, so delicious, like you will be addicted. Let's get started. I'll show you how quick and easy it is to make. So here are our ingredients. I've got four cups of blueberries, of gluten-free oats, of almond meal, and then I like to add a little bit of cinnamon. That's not in her recipe, but that's what I've got going on here. A teaspoon of salt. Yeah. Can say good morning? Good morning. Half a cup of pecans, and mm -hmm. one fourth cup olive oil, and a fourth a cup maple syrup. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump everything into an eight by eight or kind of one of these little pans. So there's the blueberries. And then we're just gonna mix everything together. So we're gonna mix maple syrup in with all the dry goods. We're gonna add the pecans, and we're gonna give it a quick stir. Put the rest of that in there. Give it a quick stir of all the ingredients. It's this is seriously so easy, you guys. I'm bringing this to my mom's morning Bible study. And this is great with ice cream for dessert, but you can also double it as a little breakfast treat. I'm gonna bring some Greek honey yogurt, put a little bit on the side, and delicious, healthy, really good. I'm gonna bake it for 35 to 40 minutes until the blueberries are bubbling. And trust me when I say this is seriously one of the best desserts, treats, breakfasts ever. There it is, pre-baked. I'm just gonna go stick it in the oven. Merry Christmas in the oven. There's just a couple things I wanna talk to you about this morning. First and foremost, how awesome is my new top? I just love this little off the shoulder. My girlfriend's sister, Christy, started a fabulous online boutique called Nobella Grace, and they've got so many cute, trendy, affordable items, and I got this top from her, and I just love it. I'm obsessed. Secondly, my mom's Bible study is ending today, and I just can't tell you, we're all so sad, and I just, it's my hugest kind of encouragement to any young moms out there is to just be involved in a Bible study or a group where you can just find other moms to connect with and encourage one another. We have been doing this for about four years now, ever since Beckham was born, and it has been the biggest, one of the biggest blessings to me as a young mom, as I've been trying to figure out. Um, we encourage each other, we pray for one another, just give each other advice, and just kind of learn from each other, and it has seriously been just life changing and it ends today. We always take a break for the summer, so we're off. So I just highly encourage those of you to get plugged in. And if you are in San Diego and in particularly Point Loma area, I'm gonna actually be helping starting up a mop. You know, mothers of preschoolers, and it's just a great kind of community thing to get involved with. We're gonna be starting it up in the fall. Hi. You gotta get you just Hi. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Anyways, it's gonna be starting up in the fall. My girlfriend Kayla is really spearheading it, but I'm gonna be a part of the leadership team. So we meet once a month. There's gonna be childcare. It's for infants through, you know, preschool aged kids, and it's just a great way to connect, be encouraged, um, kind of get to know a community of moms that are there for each other, support each other, encourage each other. Um, so that's gonna be starting up in September, so more on that. But I'm just so passionate a bit about moms feeling encouraged and connected and loved, and I have felt that through my own Bible study, and um, I think Moms is gonna be a great place where we can just have a huge group of women that does the same thing on a big scale. Really excited about that. That's about it. It's been kind of a crazy week. I posted in my last video about our big week in the food. Well, I think I came down with food poisoning from my big eating on Sunday, sadly, so I have been down for the count, so so much for that, but anyways, I'll show you the crisp when it's all done. <laughs> Trying to say hip, y'all. And there is the final product, so off to Bible City. So... There you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone tries out this delicious dessert slash snack slash 
breakfast slash whatever you want it to be. It is my absolute favorite. I guarantee you're gonna be obsessed and it is kind of guilt-free, which makes it even better. So have a good day, everyone. We'll see you next week. Mm, is that so yum yum? Love it.